So this is one of the extended writing questions, and I cannot stress this enough. You must plan what you write. Try and aim to just use the space they've given you. Just pause and think about the sequence you're going to go through this answer. So you see question 13 has got the asterisk, which means it's a quality of written communication in this Edexcel spec. Um, now, I say this a lot and um, I don't see it. I don't see it done very often by candidates. Uh, this one is six mark extended writing question. And I say to my, my students all the time, just pause and make yourself just a little plan and think about what you're going to write first. They've purposely given you six marks and not a lot of paper to write on. And that's not to limit you, that is so that you know that you're expected to write concisely. So think before you write anything, think what order you're gonna write it in and just try and think about the level of detail that you're gonna be able to put in. Pausing to write yourself a little plan is gonna allow you to, um, pausing to write a little plan is gonna allow you to think about the detail that's gonna go into each of those mini sections. Well, let's read. It's about a, organ, a pipe organ in a concert hall. When the organ is played, sound travels through the air to a person in the audience as a wave. It's found there are some positions in the concert hall where particular frequencies are quieter than others. Explain why this might be the case and give an action that could be taken to eliminate the problem. So, we've got sound travelling through the air. There are positions where particular frequencies are quieter than others. Explain why this might be the case. Give an action that could be taken to eliminate this problem. So I'm um, thinking about that quiet a bit there. What's that all about? Well that's about destructive interference. So actually the first thing I'm going to talk about is I'm going to define for the examiner destructive interference. Okay, and then once I've done that, then I'm going to apply it to this situation here. So I'm going to talk about these sound waves traveling out, destructive when two waves meet, so there's got to be maybe some reflections because they're only, only re releasing one wave, producing one wave, so there's got to be some reflection of waves. Um, where do you think it's going to be reflecting from? It's probably reflecting off the walls of this building or something else. Okay, uh, and then how can we stop that? An action we could take, well, we've got to stop the reflection somehow. So, I don't know, we, we're just going to talk about how we're going to stop the reflection. Now I can think to myself, right, I'm going to write this bit and I'm going to check that I've got enough information in it. So what is destructive interference? Uh, this is because... of destructive interference. Now I'm going to bring up all my information I can about that. Um, destructive interference is when two... which is when... Two coherent waves meet 180 degrees or pi out of a peak and peak or peak, sorry, peak and trough or trough and peak. I'm saying I'm using the language I know, pi out of phase. Right, good. Um, they add to zero or they superpose to cancel each other out. The sound wave from the organ, this is my second part now, is reflected from the walls of the building. And this seems a little bit too simple at the minute, so I'm going to look back at the question and think, well, what else could it say? Where particular frequencies are quieter than others. So there are some frequencies which have wavelengths such that such that they meet again pi out of phase. These are the quiet parts. And I could also say there'll be points where they were in phase and these would be a bit louder. And then my last point, and yeah, I am getting a bit annoyed with myself that I haven't given myself, um, I've actually filled up this space already, but I'm not going to change my plan. 
um, I thought that, that was useful detail. Um, I think it's worth saying, so I've done it. Um, how are they going to stop the reflection? They could stop this by stopping the reflection. I think I'm okay to carry on underneath here. It's just outside of this box I don't want to write in. You can stop this by stopping the reflection. One way to do this would be to put sound absorbing panels on the walls. Now I'm just going to have a little reread to myself and I'm going to check how I've done all the bits that it's said that I've done. Okay, I hope that makes sense. It's not the only way to answer that question. We're looking for linking these points together. You could talk about, well, the sound sets up standing waves in the room, and then you could talk about there being nodes and antinodes. Um, you might want to talk about those being pi out phase or pi in phase, but importantly, define what a node is and define what an antinode is, if you're gonna go down that route. So another plan could have been explain what a standing wave is and then you're having to use the, the two waves of reflecting back along the same path to cause a standing wave. Then talk about a node and antinode and don't forget, don't presume the examiner knows what they are, they do, but tell them, they want to check that you know what they are, so define these. Okay. And then again, talk about well, how will you stop that standing wave be being produced. I hope that makes sense. Now, I hope you can see from that how important it is just to pause and think about what you're going to write so that you can improve it as you go. So you're not just like, oh yeah, oh great, destructive interference. You start writing, you've already filled half the space and you haven't really checked back that you're actually doing everything the question asks you. So I suggest you really do practice extended writing questions. Maybe even just have a go at thinking up an essay title on any bit you're looking at and think, right, if I was to write three paragraphs as concisely as possible about that context, uh, which part of my syllabus would be applying? What language would I need to be getting in? And I will stress that, that it's well worth editing your response just pausing, rereading, thinking, is there a better word for that one I've used there?